some of us are easy to give up on ourselves. You know, I used to have a litmus test. I say, when, when is it okay to give up with the kids that you serve? And I say, well, you know, whenever you think it's okay to give up on yourself. And I realize that some people are okay after them being hard. So no, I'm okay with people giving up on me. I, I deserve it. And, and so I, I changed it. I said, maybe the test ought to be when you think it's okay for someone to give up on your child, on, on somebody that you love and believe in. I, I actually found it really hard to ask for help because after so much of me asking, I felt like it was never working and I just gave up on myself. I was failing quizzes and tests and everything and I didn't want that. When I was getting the results back, it kind of hurt me because I always wanted the results that other people got. I, I want to be clear that the public schools, I don't, I don't think that there are people there who are ill-willed. I don't think there are people there who are trying to manipulate and drop students out. The reality is that the way public schools, large public schools are structured is so that students fail. Large numbers of students fail. Like I'll be in class with a bunch of th like 30, like 30 students in one classroom. It was a lot of chaotic, I wasn't learning anything, and it was a lot of students that refused to do work. I was struggling a lot as a student. I was a, on an FD, you know, that's all I used to get because I wasn't getting the help that I needed. Whenever I'm talking about kids who drop out of school, I, I usually ask the question, did they drop out or were they pushed out? Because I think when you stop and think about it, very often it's very clear. The teachers, they were always picking on me and telling me, you know, you're not going to do good. And so, I mean, I knew I wasn't going to graduate because if I would have went in this year, I would have got dropped because I had low GPA. I've had young people come and tell me, well, when I turned 16, Miss So-and-so or Mr. So-and-so told me that, you, you know, now you're 16, you don't have to stay here any longer. Right. And 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 when they withdraw, of course, it's voluntary. But but there, there was a push. Uh, there was a subtle suggestion that maybe this isn't the appropriate place for you or maybe you're not welcome here and it would be time for you to move on. Uh, and, and this has actually been documented. In, in, at least in case studies of schools, of saying, well, one way we can both raise our graduation rates and raise our test scores is get rid of the students who are most likely to do poorly on the test and are less likely to graduate. And that's got some serious ramifications for um, someone who is looking for themselves in a period of adolescence, trying to be clear about who they are, where they come from, being proud of who they are, and trying to figure out where do I go next. We are blowing off a whole population of learners because we always have. There's not much in place for the alternative education student, certainly not much in place for um, people that are on that list to receive the GED. I strongly see a trend and um, focusing efforts on gifted and talented students. And a lot of that has to do with so many states becoming so focused on standardized test scores. And as you know, the special ed population is not that market. Uh, neither is the alternative education student or the GED student is not that market. In my opinion, there is an incentive system that operates, which is to an incentive for schools to get rid of the kids that are most difficult to educate. And that's, I think, a problem. The tension or the dilemma kind of is, is if you are if you're most interested in the welfare of the student, then you'd want to find that environment where the student's likely to be most successful. And maybe, in fact, it is in an alternative school or in another school. An alternative school is, is an opportunity for young people who are looking for a second chance to be able to complete their high school diploma. It's also an alternative for uh, our young people, as, as they describe it, to opt out of the public school system and go to a place where they feel like they belong. There are students who don't fit in or can't go to regular schools. Either they've been suspended, expelled, they have an arrest record, uh, they're pregnant, or they just can't stand the, the routine of showing up every day at 8 o'clock and having to turn in homework on a regular basis and stuff. As a society, we should care about what happens to these children that are pushed out of school or drop out of school because in the end, they end up in dire conditions, either in jail or prison, 
or they end up in very low wage jobs and we end up as taxpayers having to pick up the health bill or having to pick up the welfare bill. And instead, if we start to invest early in them, we create a generation, a group of people that are filled with opportunities to move, move up in society.